Your local friendly neighborhood fanboy here, and we gotta talk. Kendrick fans, where's Kung Fu Kenny, bruh? Drake out here, he done dropped another freestyle on Kendrick Lamar's head top, bro. This is getting embarrassing. Kung Fu Kenny, I need you to come to the front of the congregation and spit your hottest bars, because Drake done dropped Taylor made freestyle. Did he just back to back Kendrick Lamar? Let's find out, let's get it. Oh no, man. I was about to actually go to sleep. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning here in New York and like, uh, I was perusing YouTube and I saw uh, <laughs> Academic's title to his live, bruh. So I was like, ain't no way. And then I go on Twitter and lo and behold, I see this. 40 minutes ago now, this is Drake Taylor May Freestyle. Let's just get into it. Like, I don't even be on Twitter, bro, but like, I can't believe Kendrick would let Drake drop again. Drake is kind of genius for, this is like back to back. Like, this is history repeating themselves with Meek Mill, bro. Dude, you can't do Kendrick like that. Not Kung Fu Kenny, bro. And he officially dropped, <laughs> dropped <laughs> push-ups on all major platforms. So like, Drake is really, he really wants all the smoke. Let's see what he got on Taylor Made Freestyle. Boom, boom. Wait, Girls what? Rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Is that Tupac? Machiavelli? He said Kaluma. Right, wait, wait, hold on. There's no way. Kaluminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. West Coast Savior, ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. There's no way Drake, Drake got Tupac to diss Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> oh, this gotta be fake. Wait, wait, this gotta be fake. Hold on. West Coast Savior, ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Uh -huh. this Canadian light skin doc. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Drake is using AI to get at Kendrick and Tupac. Arguably the king of the West so West Side. He got Tupac to coach Kendrick Lamar. It's like, bruh, you can't let him meet. You can't let him do this to you, K Dot. You Kung Fu Kenny, baby. Come closer. Drake is the only rapper I know that can do something this lame and still be so cool. Rest in peace to Tupac, bro. Tupac out here living in paradise, thug paradise somewhere, or like he on an island probably. Like he don't need this right now, bro. Drake is the only rapper that I think can pull off using another rapper's voice in terms of AI, bro. It's like lame, but it's Drake. You gotta respect it. This is a calculated move from Drake and I'm here for it. Hold on, run that back. Yeah, ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Mm -hmm. Well, this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, okay. man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a gift for me. Oh. Heard it on the button podcast. It's gotta be true. Oh. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive. And the nigga under five foot five. So it's gotta be you. Damn. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Have my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos. See, it's not a muse. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Oh, yo. Wait, is that what that man on that verse on that bar? I'm like that. He said he's snatching chains and burning tattoos. That's some jailhouse talk. That's some tough man, tough man talk. Listen, I am a citizen, a law abiding citizen. All right. Don't come at me with no gangster stuff. I don't know anything about that. I will call the cops on you. Don't try it. Don't try me. Try God, bro. Like, hold on. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You asked for the smoke. Now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie. The people confused. Uh -huh. 
Uh, now you about to get this shit another week And fall back to home, girl, but run the numbers up I would have refused for these industry relationships she No, yeah, yeah, I know this is AI and it sounds like Tupac But these are such Drake bars, I can only hear Drake right now This is what's making it lame for me right now But like, this is so genius, bro That's how, it goes to show you that like, Drake and his team are just current And like, they know the internet so well This is a meme this is a meme of a diss track, bro. But this is his second. This is his second go. So this is his second. This is his back to back, bro. History is repeating itself, bro. Kendrick Lamar, please fight back. He's using Tupac now. He's he resurrected. He resurrected the ghost of Tupac to give you coaching lessons on how to spit bars at him, bro. There's no way. Drake, with this move, Drake is disarming anything that Kendrick Lamar would probably say. Now, you already got Tupac saying it, so it's like he's coaching you through this rap beef. Kendrick Lamar, I need you. Kendrick Lamar had, in my eyes, he had another week to respond. I think Kendrick Lamar needs to respond within 48 hours. He cannot let this disrespect go unanswered. This is, this is greasy. This is so smart. And corny at the same time, but this is so smart from Drake. Holy. Be not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man. Go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snoop. He got he got Snoop Dogg. Is this, is this real Snoop Dogg? Is this AI Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg is alive, bro. Drake, you got you you gotta stop, Drake. You gotta stop, bro. Like yo, I think I think Drake is just bored at this point. He's like, bro, I'm ready for all the smoke. Where's my opponent? He waited a week. Where y'all at, bro? He's back in the he back to back Kendrick Lamar ain't no way Kung Fu Kenny I know you like to take your time to create your art it's gonna be miracle miracle the bars are gonna be studied in Cambridge somewhere bro in Princeton in some Ivy League course bro that I can't afford but I just need you to bar him up real quick just to let him know that you're here just pop pop ha, 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 ha. just really quick Kendrick come on you going out you going out lame. Sir, I believed in you. There's no way. I never thought in the universe that we currently in, in this timeline, where I would see Drake winning a beef, a rap battle beef against Kendrick Lamar, Kung Fu, Kenny, K-Dot. This is crazy. Yes, yo. Here comes Snoop. What the fuck you really got to do? Mm-mm. Passed you the torch at the House of Blues, uh -huh. and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move. Right? Right? I know you've never been to jail or was jumpsuits and shower shoes. Okay. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Never did nothing violent <laughs> and no one is the homies that empower okay. you. But still, you gotta show this fucking owl who's boss on the way. You gotta show the, who, this fucking owl who's boss. There's no way he's using the voice of Snoop Dogg. They just essentially called Kendrick Lamar a lame, bro. You're a loser, bro. I know you ain't never shot a gun. Wait, 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 wait a minute, though. If we're being honest, bro, Drake was on Degrassi. He's a good fucking kid, bro. This is, Drake ain't out here committing murders, bro, but this is so smart. That'll go over. This will go over all the kids' heads, bro, because, like, neither of these people are gangster, but, like, Kendrick Lamar at least grew up in Compton, bro. Drake is from Canada. He's from uh, what, Winnipeg or somewhere like that, Toronto, bro. Come on, all disrespect, all due respect. My bad, or I don't know. You take whatever you want, but like Drake is a good kid. But through the through the voice of Snoop Dogg, him saying like, "I know Kendrick, you ain't never shot a gun, you ain't never killed nobody, you ain't never stabbed nobody, you ain't never stole from nobody." Like this is hilarious, bro. Drake is really disarming everything about Kendrick Lamar. Well, I I think. Everything that Kendrick Lamar would like rebut rebuttal with, right? So this is this is a a, a well played executed chess move from Drake. This is so funny, but like it's it's so corny at the same time because he's using other rappers' voices. You think Drake, the top guy arguably in rap right now for the last like couple years, like you would never thought he would do something like this, right? So it's corny, but it's so smart at the same time. And I think only person like Drake can pull this off. 
West. Now's the time to really make the power move. Cause right now it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. Ooh. How to bump up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowd of room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the DOG never fucking got a jewel. Okay. But right now it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. Hold on, hold on. And then Drake come in, Drake comes in and is like, yeah. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. Let me let me kill him. Let me finish him off. Yeah, this is so crazy. This is so crazy. What a move. Who would have thought in 2024 AI would play such a big role in rap beef? This is kind of like... It's still exciting, but at a level, it's lame. Like, I don't think... I don't think anybody foresaw this, right? Like, <laughs> AI is playing a major role in this rap beef. And I don't know... I don't know how I feel about it. Like, this is funny, but like, this is kind of embarrassing though. Like, please Kendrick Lamar, save hip hop, please. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bow move. Mm. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. Mm. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. Uh -huh. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. Uh -huh. But now we gotta wait a fucking week, cause Taylor's. Wait, the next one? Not this one. He said the next one. Nah, man. Kendrick, Kendrick, bro. If you let him drop three tracks on you, if you let him drop. Three tracks on pawn your head top. There's no way. There's no way. Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. Oh. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. There's no way. Kendrick Lamar, you can't take this level of disrespect. He's light skinned. Dude. He's light skinned from Canada, right? He's saying that you gotta wait till the Swifties tell you to drop, bro. Hold on, focus, bro. Focus on me. Hello. Hi. He's like, bro, if the Swifties don't tell you to drop, you ain't dropping, Kendrick. He's the new top. There's no way. There's no way. But is it, does he have a third diss track in the tuck? Because, like, the way that he's speaking implies that he does. But I don't know. I like this angle that uh, Drake is taking, but I don't think he got anything like he don't have. I don't think he has a smoking gun to reveal about Kendrick Lamar. I think that their camp over there moves really like militant in the sense that like they're very private about their personal lives. So I don't I don't know if he really got any any concrete like evidence of on Kendrick Lamar to expose anything, right? Like, he kind of hinted about his uh, high school sweetheart with the bodyguard Whitney line in his last uh, freestyle diss. Like, uh, is it a freestyle? That that wasn't freestyle. In his last diss, push-ups dropping Gimme 50, but, like, I don't think he really got... I think it's just all speculative, but, like, he's putting it out there, right, to let the people decide and do what they will with the information, even if it's true or not, right? So that's so smart, bro. He's creating propaganda, and he's setting a narrative. This is beautiful. This is a well-executed chess move in this rap civil war beef, bruh. That's wild. Hate all you corporate industry puppets, I'm not in the mood. Mm -hmm. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little, you not as enthused. Ooh. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, nah, nah. Not this time, nigga. You following through. I guess you... <laughs> He's like, nah, bro. You got to respond, bro. You ain't going to let... We're not going to let a year go by without you replying to what I got to say. This is Big Drake. Big Aubrey in the building, bro. Owls up. 66666. Six, six, six. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. You can't let you can't let Drake bully you. Come on, man. You need another week to figure out how to improve. Uh -huh. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Soon as you get the courage. Bruh, bruh, bruh. He's like the rest of you and for the rest of you. The tweeters and the leaders. <laughs> ain't no way. He ain't forget about y'all. He did not forget about y'all, bro. He still got bars for you. He got bars for Rosé. He better have bars for Rosé because he's winning on wax, on tracks, but 
I think Rick Ross got him on the internet, bro. Just talking shit. Rick Ross is hilarious as fuck, man. But he got bars for Rick Ross, bro. He gonna tell Metro to make some drums again, bro. Future, future, future. He got bars from Future, Abel, The Weekend, Cash, his manager that be tricking his money off, bro. He got bars for all of y'all, bro. I see why y'all needed 20 versus Drake, bro. I didn't believe, I never thought I'd see the day where Drake is winning a rap beef versus 20 of y'all rappers, bro. Y'all need to start rapping, bro. Metro, make another fire beat like that. Come on. Y'all need to do something. Y'all need to fight back. First to drop, I'm out on the loose. On the loose. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Biggest gangster in the music game right now. Uh, and then he shouts out Taylor Swift at the end. He's like, shout out to T Dog, you know? That's my that's my big homie T Dog, you know. Shout out to the Swifties. Y'all running things. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already, you know, she about to mini one do a milli rock on your head top. Mm. She got the whole PG laying on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend, like. I, I know you in that NY apartment, you struggling right now, I know it. In a notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand, like. Shit crazy. We waiting on you. Yo. There's no way he's like, Dot, I know you're in that New York apartment, bro. Yo, Kendrick, if you need some bars, I got you, bro. I'm in New York too, bro. We can we can I ain't I can't help you in this, bro. I ain't got bars like that, bro. But you better come up with a quintuple entendre, bro. It, it can't even happen. There's no way, bro. Drake is really out here embarrassing you. Kung Fu Kenny, please. Please fight back. This is, I, I think Kendrick Lamar just needs to drop something, bro, like at this point because, and then come back with a round two that's more fire. You can't, you can't let, he's demolishing you right now, bro. He's embarrassing you on the rapping front because you told him you started this. You sparked this off, bro. And Drake is out calculating you in this game of chess that you guys are playing, bro. You haven't, you need to fight back. Cause like right now it looks like he's bullying you, bro. And I know you got the, you got the ability. Like no one, I don't think anybody would say, come out their neck and say that like Drake has better bars than uh, Kendrick Lamar just just across the board. But like, bruh, this is embarrassing. We need something from Kung Fu Kenny, bro. Like this nigga disappeared like the Avatar last Airbender, bro. This is ridiculous. But yo, let me know what you guys think about this disc, bro. I think it's corny, but it's well calculated. It's corny to use AI the way that Drake did, but I think only he can do it. Ain't nobody else getting away with this. That's why this is really fucking dope. He back to back Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, you had, for in my opinion, you had a week. But right now, after this, you got 48 hours to reply. It's been your local friendly neighborhood fanboy. Push G. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye.